waka 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 what is cracking found my exit back here with another video welcome welcome i hope you've been well taking care of yourself and ripping into some packs of your own the time's here 2000 sub goal celebration slash giveaway video today. I am beyond nervous, beyond excited for this one. Uh, the last 24 hours, a week really, I cannot tell you the things I've been thinking, experiencing in preparation for this video. It is just completely nerve wracking and exciting at the same time. Um, I know opening a base set, unlimited heavy booster packs, probably not the biggest deal to some people out there, but to me, it's a huge, huge deal um, and something I haven't done before. So an experience that hopefully all of us will be able to go through together. A bit of housekeeping before we jump into it. Diamond and Pearl base set is still our vintage set of the month. This is the last video to throw your guesses for that randomly selected Pokemon into the comment section. Go ahead and like and subscribe to be in the chance for that um, prize that we will announce not next video, but the one after for the vintage set of the month. And of course, our 2000 sub goal giveaway, this beautiful Charizard artwork, base set unlimited booster pack. The winner of this prize is linked in the description. And I want to just say an absolutely huge thank you to every single person out there that has supported the channel through our journey thus far. We're nearly at two and a half thousand subs. We are announcing our next sub goal also. When we go and grab our warm up packs, we'll announce that. If you did miss out on this giveaway, do not stress. Stay subscribed because we will likely be giving away another Base Set Unlimited booster pack for our next sub goal. If not, it'll be something even bigger. So, again, a huge absolute thank you to every single person out there that supported the channel i cannot say how much it means to me um it's the reason we continue it's the reason we keep going it's the reason we keep making hopefully bigger and better videos as we you know grow as a channel and a community so again just thank you thank you i cannot say it enough um both for myself and a waka waka so look i think that leaves us to it it's time that we probably get our warm-up packs before we bust into this heavy base set unlimited booster pack that's right this is a big big heavy uh we voted for it i'll throw it up on the screen we threw out a poll of all the heavies well some of the heavies that we've got to bust into from base set unlimited and this was the choice so we will be busting into that later in this video i'm beyond nervous and excited but let's throw across to the supplies pick out some warm-up packs and again announce that next milestone giveaway slash celebration that we will do for the channel. Let's go. I've already grabbed down our warm-up packs. We've got two Skull and Violet 151 ETBs. What better way to respect the OG 151 than warming up with some Skull and Violet 151. Let's chase some Demigod packs, some of those SIRs. See all those OG Pokemon before we get into that heavy base set unlimited booster pack. I did want to do celebrations and evolutions um, and chase the reprint of the Zard, but I didn't have any loose evolutions packs and I didn't want to rip into one of the booster boxes up there just yet for some warm up packs. So we'll be doing Scarlet and Violet for our warm up. And I do want to announce that at 5,000 subs, we will rip into this EX Crystal Guardians booster pack. Some of you may remember where that came from, that ultimate mystery box that we opened on the channel. It has been a lifelong goal of mine to pull a gold star. So my chase gold star personally would be the Mewtwo from Holland Phantoms, but the goal of mine is to pull any gold star. I don't want to isolate myself to Holland Phantoms. That's a very hard set to get a hold of as is Crystal Guardians, but a very expensive set, some very, very big hits in this set specifically. We've got the Alakazam and Celebi Gold Star that we'd be chasing, but there is also a um, Delta Species Charizard and Reverse Charizard, plus a bunch of big AX hits and other hollows. So at 5,000 subs, we will be ripping this pack open. And don't worry, I will be announcing another big giveaway for the channel. So if you did miss out on that base set Charizard artwork um, booster pack, I'm thinking of giving another one, one away at 5k subs, potentially something just as big, if not bigger. So at minimum, it's going to be another base set unlimited booster pack. If not, it might be something even bigger. So We'll get these ETBs back to the desk and rip into them. Our warm-up packs will come from these two Skull and Violet 151 ETBs. And then we will, of course, pop our mantle 
up there with the base set unlimited heavy Blastoise artwork booster pack. Let's um, fast forward while we rip into these and get the packs out. All right, I am extremely nervous. Two of our promos. We've got the two code cards there for everyone out there. Um, I'm probably going to say it a thousand times this video, but thank you everyone for the love and support. It means the world to us, um, and it's the reason we're doing this right now. So, 18 packs of Scarlet 1 Vive 1 before we get into the absolute main event. And before we do get into that main event pack, I will run through um, all of the big hollows from the set. Uh, the weight of the pack, a little bit of the history of the pack. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. But let's leave these in ETB stacks so we can see how each ETB performs. But you all know the big hitters from 151. We are looking for those SIRs of the OG starter fully fully evolved or fully full evolutions, whatever we want to call it. Um, yeah. Maybe a Charizard SIR. Maybe a Demigod pack would be pretty cool. But let's go through this. I probably need to take lots of deep breaths as we get through this because I, I just can't even grasp the fact that we are busting into a base set unlimited booster pack, let alone a heavy, let alone just anything of that magnitude. I mean, a thousand plus Australian dollars these go for. Um, sure, you see that range. There's plenty of packs that sell on eBay that are like, oh, potential heavy. But like, no, this is this is guaranteed heavy, right? So uh, any guaranteed heavy and people, uh, you'll see them. You'll see them up there in the last solds. Like, yeah, thousand plus. I've seen some listed for ridiculous prices, like seventeen hundred and stuff like that. Which oh, personally, I would never pay for that but that's cool we got a Mewtwo there and just that you know we're flicking through the OG 151 so a little bit of the nostalgia of the possibility of what we could see um, I'll do my best to run through my thoughts of what I've been thinking of in anticipation for this one um, yeah the swirly energies but how cool um, how cool is that gonna be that next sub goal uh, EX Crystal Guardians. That is one bloody dope pack. Not to take anything away from Base and Unlimited, but probably a Base and Unlimited heavy pack and an unweighed Crystal Guardians pack are probably similar in cost. Um, if it was, if EX era was easier to weigh and you could say that that Crystal Guardians pack was heavy, then it would be much, much, you know, more than an unweighed cost. But EX is a very difficult uh, era to weigh. Um, and, you know, it's got huge hits that could be in the reverse slot as well as the, the hit slot. Plus, if you get an EX hit, sometimes it replaces certain hit slots or adds to a hollow. It's just, it, it's a ballpark of its own, that um that set. So, or that era. So, EX, uh, very, very hard to, to work out. Very slow start here from uh, 151, but that's okay. We still have plenty of packs to go. Plenty of time to think and breathe before we get into the absolute main event of the video. And I'll probably thank you guys about 48,000 more times throughout the videos. We've got a double banger there with the gold, um, the gold basic energy there, the psychic secret rare gold. That's a nice hit. And yes, I've got the pull tab sleeves out and the, um, the semi rigids for today. I'll probably pop our base set hits into into um, those pull tabs so that if I do need to take it out and inspect it or do any of that stuff that I'm not, you know, I'm giving minimal chance to damaging the card. And when we do run through the big hits from base set, um, it is a bit difficult, right? Because pop comes into it so much. And if you don't know what pop is when, when you grade a card, right? So our best chance of making any money from, which we're not doing it for, but from the hit that comes from uh, base set, is it grading a 10, right? Now that's huge and difficult in itself, as we do have the beautiful illustration rare there with the Omnite into the reg, reg hollow um, flare on there. So what I was saying was, pop comes into it so much when, you, when you're talking about grading and um, the possibility of that coming back a 10. So let me give you an example. A Blastoise 
is a huge hit, right? So if we get a Blastoise Hollow from that Blastoise artwork, it's a huge hit, right? But if it grades a 10, like this 2,500 plus, which is huge, that's awesome, that's a win. But if you happen to get a Chansey, which is not in all of the other respects as expensive a hit, until it gets to a 10 because of Pop, right? So Pop is the population of that card in that grade. Um, and Chansey is very, very difficult to grade a 10. Uh, it has a lot of um, hollow around the, the Pokemon and in a color, I guess, or a scheme that is very, very easy to show print lines and damage and all of that. So uh, the population of PSA 10 Chanseys is very low, which makes a PSA 10 Chansey like 4,000 plus in value. But if they both graded a nine, the Blastoise is worth a lot more. So yeah, it, it's it's a hard one to rank your hits when it comes to the hollows. Um, but look, I'm going to be happy regardless of what we pull. Sure, there are some hollows that have run through my mind that I'm like, oh, please don't be that hollow. But I've tried to, to work away from that thought as best as possible because, you know, it, it's the experience. It's the fact that we have a chance to do this in front of all of you um, and experience it all together. So I'm gonna be happy with whatever we get. Obviously I have like my top six that I would like to see. Um, yeah, so hopefully we get lucky and we pull one of those those big hits that we wanna see or the big hit from the set. I mean, a Charizard's absolutely crazy. You pull a Charizard and it grades a 10, 15 grand right there. Um, that's that's the the grail of like possibilities it's hard enough to try and pull a charizard in the first place and then for it to grade a 10 like that's just everything going your way and it being absolutely perfect so i mean that would like obviously that would be awesome let's hope that something like that could happen as that first etb i mean we had a gold and an illustration rare but nothing too crazy what i might do is stack the reg hollows up put them with the energies um, and we'll keep the two bigger hits there and we'll put the rest to the side. Okay, second ETB. This is going too quickly. I'm nervous as. This is way too, it's going way too quickly. I'm going to be shaking when we rip into that base set pack. But the time has come. The time is here. And again, a huge congratulations to the winner of that base set unlimited Charizard artwork booster pack. Um, yeah, just reach out to me via Facebook or Instagram, DM, same names, uh, both found my exit. And if you can't do it that way, I will um, let you know my email address and you can shoot that through. Actually, my email address should be on one of my socials there. If you can't find it, let me know. But again, a huge congratulations. And for those that missed out, do not worry. We will be giving away another. That is for sure. All right. Let's see something. Uh, maybe a demigod pack would be pretty cool to see or we just save all of our luck for that base set a limited pack that is also the other option all right oh i have been in all sorts for the last 24 hours specifically it's like sleep last night was not the easiest um the stomach the nerves fair enough kingler into kingler um yeah have just been all over the place all over the place just peak anxiety but you know that that like nervous excitement not just like stress nerves like the nervous excitement um so oh there's always it's always been like so far oh we got a five swirler here nice add that to the five swirler collection Definitely looking to get one of each of those cool energies with five swirls on it. As we got the Wiggly Tough EX for our first, I guess, above reg minimum guarantee hit from this second ETB. But that's okay. We are leading into, we all know what we're leading into here, right? Why do I keep on? I keep on flipping these over upside down. I'm just not even thinking about these packs. My mind is only in one spot and one spot only. But yeah, like you guys heard my my goal of pulling a gold star. It's been an all time goal of mine. Um, so hence the the next sub goal celebration would be that um, Crystal Guardians EX pack. One day I will scoop up, you know, some more 
uh, Hollum Phantoms packs and then chase that Gold Star Mewtwo that I would love. That's my ultimate chase. I know it's not the most valuable. Obviously, there are bigger Gold Stars out there, but it is my boy Mewtwo. So, you know, holds a special, special place for me. Okay, we need something out of these last three packs of... Um, 151 here. It's been quite a dud. I think we've had that wiggly tough EX and that's it, but it's okay. As I said, I'm happy if we save our luck for that big dog booster pack about to come. All right. So we've got the reg hollow rare there. Two more packs from 151. All right, all right. We're seeing the OG Pokemon here. Obviously not all of these that appear in base set as we do have the Charizard EX. Nice, we can definitely pull this, um, this full art. I think I've got the pull tab around the wrong way. Nope, we're all good. That's definitely a beautiful hit there. Um, might as well chuck it in the semi-rigid because we do have them out and get used to this process right here. Much more versed at putting them in top loaders, but there we go into the semi-rigid um, and hopefully a sign for potentially what could be ahead. All right, we'll leave that down there. One last pack from this ETB. That was a hit to kind of save us there on that ETB. It was, it was a bit slow heading into those last two packs with just the one EX hit prior. That's okay. We've got a chance at another hit here before we get ourselves all prepped for what is to come. All right, we are at the moment of truth. Now give me a sec just to clear this off and then we'll talk about that. All right, it is time. Let's cherish the moment <sighs> base set unlimited 1999 blastoise heavy booster pack this is so clean this booster pack it looks beautiful um you will notice the pull tab is completely secured down nice and you know kind of what you'd expect and hope um i have noticed with base set unlimited packs that you do get like four dots that are kind of like in the same general spot across booster packs sometimes less obvious than others and sometimes further on the back here um, and sometimes you can even get little like lines across the back of the crimp there from when they sealed it and and heated it up wrong and closed it in that way sometimes you get an imprint of the seal from the pack atop on top uh here on top of the pack that's generally what that line is so those are the types of things and your angle of your cut on your crimps those are the types of things that come into effect when you are grading uh, a booster pack now obviously you wouldn't want to grade a heavy you'd grade a light um booster pack from base and unlimited but oh just look at the beautiful artwork the nostalgia is an all-time high this is the one heavy base set pack that i don't know its origins right so I, uh, every other kind of heavy base set pack i have i've seen where it came from from the booster box opened live um divvied out the packs weighed or unweighed and then you know passed on to those people who purchased them so in the poll which we'll throw up again when this was selected it is the heaviest that i have out of my heavies you know 21.45 i bought it at 21.5 everyone's scales slightly differ but yeah that and sometimes you know that can change but 21.45 is still the heaviest one that I have. I just don't know the history of what was pulled out of the booster box already, potentially. What were the quality of the cards that came from this booster box? I mean, the pack is very clean, so that's a good sign in itself. This art set here, which those two are heavies, that's the Venusaur heavy that a lot of people want me to open. That's the Blastoise heavy that was the second heaviest one. Um, I do know that there was a Charizard pulled from that booster box. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. I've seen base set booster boxes where a heavy, uh, sorry, a Charizard was not pulled and where three Charizards were pulled from the same booster box. So by all means, there still could be a big Zardy boy in one of those heavies and we will open them at some point in time. But a, a Charizard has been pulled from that, that uh, booster box. 
This booster box, I have no idea. Maybe there's been three Charizards already pulled from this booster box. Maybe there's been none. Um, so completely up in the air what could be in this. So let's quickly, well not quickly, let's slowly roll through the hits, the hollows that can be found in base set unlimited. You've got the Charizard which again, I think I mentioned earlier in the video, prices on these are very difficult. You know, raw prices are not really accurate because no one's really selling pack fresh raw cards at the moment. So a lot of the raw values are brought down by like lightly played and, you know, played or damaged cards. Um, so a PSA 8 probably is fairer to go off value wise, PSA 8 to 9 for a raw card from this pack as it is box fresh, very clean, all of that. Um, but a Charizard in a PSA 10, should you be lucky enough for it to grade that, would be like $15,000 Australian. Australian dollars, all my values are Australian dollars for everyone out there. Blastoise is roughly like two and a half grand in a 10. A Venusaur is like 1,500 in a 10. A Mewtwo is about a grand in a 10. Chansey is 4,000 in a 10. Again, said earlier in the video, population, so pop rates of the 10s factor into, you know, the value of a PSA 10 so, so much. If they are really hard to get in a 10, obviously that price is going to be a premium because there is so little of them out there. And as I scroll through these hits, I, um, I'll give you kind of some of that information on the screen. So Chansey, 4,000 plus in a 10. Alakazam, 1,200-ish in a 10. Clefairy, 1,400 in a 10. Again, a difficult one to grade in a 10. Um, Hitmonchan, 1,400 in a 10. Another difficult one to grade 10s, I believe. Magneton, 1,000 plus in a 10. Another difficult one. Um, Gyarados, 850 plus. Nido King, another 850 plus. Ninetales, 650 plus. Raichu, 1,100 plus in a 10. Um, Zapdos, 700 in a 10. Uh, Polyrath, 550 in a 10. So, you know, they drop significantly down from their PSA 10 values to PSA 9. Um, again, if I'm still scrolling through those Pokemon as I went relatively quickly on the screen, I'll show the PSA 9, PSA 10, maybe even the pop of those cards. Um, and yeah, so that's, you know, there's, I think, was it 15 odd, um, different hollows that you can get from the set. And there is obviously the Machamp, but that does not come inside the packs. The Machamp was part of that theme deck and majority of either the base set and, uh, unlimited for, and first edition both had that first edition stamp on it. You'll just notice by the shadowless for the true um, base set uh, first edition uh, match amps. So that one, it can't be found in this pack. So it's one of those 15 hits that we are expecting to see. This is, as mentioned, 21.45 grams. I don't know its origin. It is from a trusted seller, but that does not mean that that trusted seller I got this from didn't get it from someone that may have been dodgy. So I, I think it's highly unlikely. I think 98.9% .9 chance we're all good here. And this is just a heavy base on unlimited pack, but there is that slim, slim, very slim chance that something dodgy, um, and, and, you know, Picasso of an effort of a reseal could have happened here, but I don't think so. From my analysis, it is clean, um, but weirder things could happen. So if that does happen, that's fine. I know where I got it from. I know where I can chase that up if that is the case. But as mentioned, I don't believe that it's anything near that scenario. Now, without further ado, it is time. We are going to be ripping into this. I just need to give myself one second. All right. Sorry, I had to hydrate and get ready for this. Oh, 1999, going all the way back to the beginning. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try and do this. I'm gonna be very slow. I'm gonna try and do this as best as possible. Okay, that looks clean there. That looks clean there as well. Always, whenever opening stuff like this, inspecting little things like that to just make sure there's no foul play that could have gone on. There are masters of resealing out there in the world. Um, and we, you know, want to make sure that we're not going to get taken advantage of. But as mentioned, I'm fairly confident with this one. And worst case, I can um, chase it up. So no stress at all in that regard. But we are into it. I can see a very good... Um, 
sign there as we open it up. You know, you want your commons and uncommons to be as good as possible when opening these sets up. So we do have what you can see peeking through there with the Squirtle. Now that came off very, very easily, which is not the best sign, but that's okay. We will um, continue and see what is within. But look at that, that looks very, very clean. That Squirtle, very well centered. <sighs> Everything's right about that card, which is really good. And we did a great job with the artwork there, keeping it pristine. That is definitely gonna go on the wall of fame slash shame, depending on what is in here. Um, I can't see a bend in there, which is not the best sign when it comes to a heavy base set pack. Um, and I can, okay, we've gone three to the front. The back looks okay. There looks like a slight bit of factory fluff on that top corner, but um, whew, the nerves are at an all time high. All right, let's get into it. We have the Kakuna first. Wow, okay, that is a great, great uncommon there with the Charmeleon. I'm gonna lay all of these out. I'll sleeve them up and top load them after. But the Charmeleon there. The Kadabra. Is that Charmeleon? The Squirtle or the Kadabra assign for our rare slot. I would be happy with, oh, I mean, obviously a Charizard, you're happy. I'd be happy with an Alakazam. I'd be happy with a Blastoise. <sighs> okay, we've got the Metapod. Three beautiful hits so far there. Taking nothing away from these other hits, obviously. Um, and always keeping an eye out for errors. You know, errors on any of these commons, uncommons can also be worth a fair bit. Um, but everything looks good so far and the cards, as mentioned, look very well centered and in pretty good nick as we do have the Ponyta. My heart right now, if I'm shaking, I'm sorry, it is beating out of my chest. It is going absolutely crazy. All right, all right, need to keep track. All right, we should have two energies. Got the electric energy, followed by the fighting energy. Do we peek? Do we just rip? What do we do? Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking so, so much. Do we peek? Do we rip? Do we see a color? I think, personally, I'm just gonna lift. I don't think I'm gonna peek it. Uh, if, I, if I peek it and I saw like red and then it was nine tails, which nothing's wrong with the nine tails, but I think I would like have a heart attack. I think I'm already stressed enough. I think I'm just gonna absolutely rip this and we'll go. Thank you again for everyone out there, all of the support for the channel. It is just, I, I, I'm lost for words at the support we've had on the channel. This is thanks to everyone out there living the moment with me. And we do have a Mewtwo. That is amazing. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that in the sleeve. Ooh, if everyone knows me, oh my gosh, that is like outside of the Zard, that is probably the best result. I am absolutely shaking. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, I am shaking that much right now. That is a clean, clean Mewtwo. Centering looks great. Um, there are, There is a print line I can see. I can see a big old print line going through his foot there. I don't know if I can get that on camera. Um, but there is a print line. That's not the end of the world, though. Just the one print line from what I can see. Oh, my God. Oh, if you've been following the channel for long enough, you know how much of a Mewtwo fan I am, and I am just shaking. The back is actually really good. Look at the corners. You can't even see them because I'm shaking that much. Look, oh my god, that, sorry about that. I am, um, oh, I'm lost for words, but that looks so, so clean. Let's get that into the top load, uh, into the, um, not the top loader, but into, I can't even speak, into the semi-rigid. I need to put this in as carefully as possible because I am still shaking so, so much. Let's just get that in there. Oh, okay, it's in, we're safe. Woo -hoo! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm stoked. I just do not know what to say. 
Thank you again to everyone out there. I won't bore you with me sleeving the rest of these cards up. That is huge. Congratulations again to our lucky winner of that base set unlimited pack. I am going to go and just lie on the floor for a little bit and try and recover without having a heart attack. Thank you all so much for all the support. What an absolute banger with that Mewtwo. We will catch you in that next video. A waka 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 wa